So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Awan Kenneth and welcome, right? Please subscribe to the channel. So I have been away from YouTube for a while and a while I just say like two weeks, which is not long, but I have been having the time of my life like any other YouTuber out there. You know, we are enjoying the money, the money that I am not making because this channel is not monetized. So please subscribe. Anyway, I want to talk about um, some tips that I have been using in maintaining this experiment I call life, right? So some people are going back to school. Um, it's back to school season um, for high schoolers, university, graduate students. I'm going back to school and I wanted to like have a discussion pointing out some tips that are important for everybody in general. like speaking generally from here. The first thing I want to talk about is learning how to put yourself out there. It's something that we are not being, that is not being taught um, to us in school. Um, you don't have any lecture on how to put yourself out there. I don't know if there's any, please tell me. But learning and mastering how to put yourself out there is fundamental and everybody should learn how to do it. It's something that I am still learning even with my youtube video i know everybody's always worried about what we they say about you you know no one can say something before auntie in america calls your father and see see what your first son is doing on the internet you know that kind of thing but learn how to put yourself out there in a way whereby you get respect and i like to say don't burn bridges but also don't live on bonds bridges on bonds you know it's a thin line that needs mastering so, but learning how to put yourself out there is key because if you don't put yourself out there, nobody's going to know your name, nobody's going to compare you to anybody. You are not an available option at the moment. Please learn how to put yourself out there. It's something that needs constant practice. Again, this also falls on that. The first thing is called networking. Now, we all know the saying that in Nigeria, for you to succeed, you need, you need connections. Well, it's not a lie, right? There's some truth to it because if your father is an MD of a bank, definitely you get a job if you want it or not, right? Learn how to network, learn how to go to events, and always try to learn how to be accommodating and nice. One trick I normally use for this is if I go for an event and I obviously know nobody and sometimes I'm not meant to be there, I just ask a random question. Like, I ask a very, very intelligent question, right? Even if I know the answer to it. So the key to this is that you're asking a question, you first have to introduce your name and that introduce yourself and tell the audience whether they ask for it or not, what you do, right? Nowadays, uh, if you, and if you go ahead doing that, you don't know who might be interested in looking for a digital marketer, for example, who is fine and handsome like me. But <laughs> that is not the point. But the point is you have free platforms to always network with people. So learn how to maximize the use of it another one is time now time management is key but do not crucify yourself on this if it's not time to do something don't force yourself to do something because you end up burning out so learn how to maximize and use your time effectively don't try to overwork don't try to overstress yourself because if you do that you're just throwing your future in the furnace. Learn how to maximize your time. Learn when you are fit to do something and when you're not fit to do something. And also remember that opportunity meets preparation. So if you don't use your time well preparing, when opportunity comes, it goes. That's why you feel always connections and luck. It's not always that all the time. It's, it's more like a soup. So connection goes into it. Uh, preparation, which is mistaken for luck, goes into it. Um, putting yourself out there goes into it. Networking also goes into it. So all these things is like a potluck. Another thing again is mastering a skill. Now, not everybody's going to get first class and not all first class holders are going to be Bill Gates. If you have a skill, you have a better chance of standing out than the normal average person. An example for me was when I was waiting for admission and I was freaking out that I might not enter university the following year. I was like, okay, you know what? Instead of sitting down here being all depressed and crying about it, I can easily just go and pick up a form at an NGO and learn how to sew, right? I mean, Gucci. Um, Louis Vuitton, they make like over how many billion dollar a year, so I could well be in Nigeria that does that for Nigeria. So I did that and admission came, I got in nonetheless, but 
what that did was that at least if you asked me to put a thread and needle into a sewing machine, I could do that for you. So that's one skill. And I also learned computer. So I also dabbled somewhere on like web design and programming and just understanding the di um, digital space. And that has helped me so far. So having a skill is always important because even if you don't have what we call quali in the local Nigerian language, which means certificates or paper, you can always benefit of skills that you have mastered. Another good thing again is to save. Now, if you're a student, and when I was a student, it was the best time to make free money. And free money, I mean by money that you do not have to spend whatsoever. You only spend it on things that you obviously do not need, like a PS2, for example, or meat buy of food when you already have food right learn to save and learn to understand financial education and financial instruments if you understand how to save you can always manipulate yourself into thinking that investing for the future will be good it's one thing to save put your money in a piggy bank um, under the pillow inside your shoe and it's one thing to actually use that money to work for you you can put that money into a different business apart from your primary source of income and the easiest so far t-bills um, which is short for treasury bill or government bonds and anybody could always understand that just go into your bank and ask them for t-bills or government bonds and they'll get it sorted out for you uh, learn how to communicate effectively with people it's very hard Public speaking is hard. Me recording this video right now is difficult. I've done some takes, you know, that I've deleted. I don't want anybody ever to see the video. But learning how to speak and communicate effectively without coming out as arrogant or not interested or bored or borderline in New Zealand society is always good because you don't know you, you don't know where you might need it for Unfortunately, you need it like every day in any job you want. Even just applying for a job, you need to ace the interview, right? So you need to also know how to communicate to your interviewer and tell them that, convince them rather that you are the best candidate for the job. When creating dreams and visions, you need people to follow you, to also believe in you, right? Now, learning the skill in the corporate sector will help you when you're convincing your board of directors that this change you want to make here, although be it random and a little bit outside the box, is best for the company. Now, learning how to communicate that effectively to your audience will be key in making your life a lot more easier. Now, these are just some tips that I feel like are important and people should just talk about it or really take a look into it to see how um, they are doing. I'm not a master in all of this. I'm still learning and I just wanted to like share learning topics. So yeah, while you're going back to school, this is something to think about. Anyway, remember to subscribe, guys. Subscribe, please. And peace out. Bye, guys.